Yo, what's up? This is a complete overview of the GamePad Control, which is a device that allows you to use video game controllers with Ableton Live. Let's check it out. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure my controller is connected. Right now I have the Xbox connected through Bluetooth, and I'm going to load the GamePad Control. And my controller should already vibrate and surely work. Nice, I'm going to then load the drum rack right after it. And we can already play uh, with the buttons. Nice, now if I want to change the notes that are sending out into the drum rack, I can change them from here. I'm going to use my arrow keys. And also have a button for each one to change from momentary to latch. So now if I have loops like this one, I can just click on it to turn it on and turn it off. Nice. Uh, now this is also plug and play. So let me turn this off and I'm going to use my PlayStation. You can use Bluetooth, but let me just connect it so it's faster. Nice. As soon as you uh, connect your controller, the PlayStation or Xbox, it will switch uh, the interface. Uh, to represent whatever type of controller you have. So as you can see, all the controls here has changed their names. Uh, nice. Now, um, we can open up the mapping window right here. And here we have access to all the other controls. So first, let's start with the shoulder bumpers right here. Uh, we can switch them between two modes. Uh, first of all, let's map this so we can see what's happening. I'm going to map it, let's say, to this macro right here. Let's click Map and Map it. So by default, it's on Trigger mode. As soon as you click on the control, on the button, it jumps 0 to 100. You can also change it to CC, continuous control. So now it uses the pressure sensitivity of these pads, and we can control the macro like that. Nice. You can also switch it to uh, modulation. This is for Ableton Live 12. They have the new modulation system, so you can switch between. Sweet. Same thing for uh, the right one. Now, the joystick, we have two parameters uh, for each, or three for each joystick. Uh, first of all, the XY. Uh, so they also have two modes. Let's map this, let's say, here. And this is the X. So I can go left and right, also in mod and all of that. Uh, but you can also switch it to trigger mode so that as soon as you uh, click or move the uh, joystick, it will immediately turn it on. So this is extremely useful for stuff like this. Let me turn this off. I'm going to fold this kit. Let's say we want something like uh, beat repeat. And I'm going to put it on insert mode, turn down the automatic chance. And let's map in XY mode, let's map our joystick to the filter. And let's map in trigger mode, the joystick to the repeat. So now I can play, but only when I move the joystick, it's going to start. Let me turn on the loop. And let's also do variation here so we can hear the change as well. So you can see it's only turning on when I'm moving the joystick. Nice. Um, let's stop this. Sweet. That's the joystick. Same thing for joystick, right? Now you also have the push. When you click on the actual joysticks, you have these buttons. Uh, these ones can be all mapped. You can map it to anything like on off stuff, or you can have it to be a note. Okay. Here we also have momentary and latch, or in this case called momentary and toggle, same thing. We can also invert uh, the range if we need it to be inverted right here. Sweet, and we have two destinations for each. That's true also for the right side and also for the Xbox controllers and other controllers who have these uh, joysticks. Uh, this device, by the way, was tested on PS5 and Xbox controllers uh, officially, but I also checked out other controllers and uh, a lot of the poor controllers uh, usually work straight out of the box, if not 100%, 90% of all controls will work. Let's go to the extra tab here. And here we have access to some stuff that you might not have on all controls. So first of all, the pad right here, I can control and map the XY to anything. And also just touching it, the touch, you can map it to other destinations like on off of effects. I'll show you in the performance template that you also get with this device. Uh, all these extra controls like Start, Select, Home, uh, the Mute button here on the PS, uh, for that you will have to enable them because some of them have, um, they use keyboard shortcuts on your system, on a Mac, on a PC. So I didn't want to turn it on by default, but you can, here, this brings up a, 
uh, but you can turn them on and use them. Oh, and use them as a mapping a, a notes or map. Here you can change here from note to map, and you have the same thing: momentary toggle and a invert, just like the other ones with the push. Uh, so each one of them can be or a note or a map, but you do have to turn them on from right here. We also have the gyroscope. Uh, depends if your controller have it. You can turn on the gyroscope, and then we can use this, and we can map it to anything we want. And even if you have pad colors here, if you want, uh, if the controller, co controller supports colors, every time I play, it will start uh, just doing different colors. Nice. So this is the gamepad control. Super fun. Uh, you also get a performance template with it. So let's check that out. This is a project that you get with just everything already mapped to a bunch of stuff. You have chords here. You have effects. We have drums. We have effects. We go reverb and delay here. I have a shimmer reverb here. Pitch down. Here we have beat repeat with filter. And here we have a pitch loop 89, freezer kind of thing. Let's play it a bit more so we can record into the buffer. And now, and we can combine it with everything else. Super cool stuff. And we can also, if I click on this uh, joystick, we turn on a lead sound. That plays with every button that we hit. And if we click on this joystick, we turn on a reverb on the master track. And we can use the gyroscope to control. <laughs> Super fun stuff. Uh, so this is the gamepad control, and this is the gamepad control performance template that uh, you will also get with the device. Hope you have fun with it. I'll catch you next time.